What's up guys, welcome to the show. So I figured I'd shoot this video, weird angle, I know, but uh, I figured I'd shoot this video right here right now because I have a lot of time to spare on my hands right now. So I figured why not shoot this video and talk about something we haven't talked about on the show in a long time and that's bodybuilding and the Mr. Olympia. I wanna make this a regular show once again. So here it is. Uh, I wanna talk about pretty much um, why I'm really excited for this year's 2020 Mr. Olympia and why you should be too and why this is probably the most important Mr. Olympia um in a really really long time so let's just back up a little bit and talk about phil heath now phil heath was dominating the mr olympia for a really long time he ended up even going on to tie arnold schwarzenegger's uh record um which was a really big deal of course but uh let's just talk about 2018 Mr. Olympia so what happened to that is Phil Heath lost for the first time in a really long time and why he lost was because a few months prior uh, he ended up having ab abdomen uh, surgery or not a few months but I believe it was really really close to that I believe it was like a month weeks prior to that Mr. Olympia he ended up having abdomen surgery and of course his doctors told him don't compete don't compete his friends told him his family told him you know hold off don't compete but Phil Heath was you know Phil Heath is Phil Heath, right? So the guy was like, screw it, I'm going to compete. So his sutures weren't holding and his stitches weren't holding in properly. And every time he flexed, he actually couldn't hold it because uh, everything just popped out and he couldn't control his abdomen. If you watch the video for that, you could see his abdomen constantly going in and out, like uncontrollably. Uh, and so according to judges, according to him, according to everybody, that's why he lost. He lost because he couldn't hold that and so phil heath uh, lost um sean won it he he deserved to win it that night for sure but basically uh what ended up happening was all right sorry about that guys i kind of got interrupted there but anyway so what ended up happening was sean of course won the competition and um phil heath came out right away and was like you know hey i deserve to lose that course i lost it this is what happened this is why i couldn't hold my stomach in because of the surgery everything just kept popping out so basically he just said i'm done for until 2020 2020 is going to be the year where i come back 2020 is going to be the year where i win it 2020 is going to be the year where i'm back on top once again uh and so he didn't compete in 2019 he believed he stopped competing period in 2019 um Brendan ended up winning 2019, which rightfully so he deserved to. Uh, and now it's 2020 and um, Phil Heath's name is on the competitor's list. And I seen Phil Heath not long ago and he looked amazing. Like this guy looked like he did back in 2015, 2016. Like he looked really, really good. I think that Phil Heath is actually going to win this year. And this is why I think this is such an important competition is because you have a guy who is the gift, who is really unbeatable. He was really undefeated. He was really the perfect bodybuilder um, for his generation just because his body was like, his proportions were unreal. He's probably the best bodybuilder since uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, of course, we'll get to, into that another time. But he fell off this, he fell off because something that he couldn't control. If he listened to his doctors, if he listened to his friends, he wouldn't have bodybuilt. He wouldn't have competed in 2018. He wouldn't have lost. He would have still technically held his crown. But you know what I mean? He should have taken the time off that, but he didn't. But this year, we're going to see him finally win it again. We're going to see him back on top. We're going to see him, you know, retain his title or regain his title, I should say, and be on top again. I don't know how long he's going to be on top for because I think he's probably, I know he said he wanted uh, after he won 2000. Uh, 17 he said he wanted to shoot for two more and then he wanted to retire so he wanted to shoot for 18 and 19 when those two and then retire so I'm sure he's going to go for 2020 2021 and then retire but of course we'll see and that's why this one's so important because we could see one of the like arguably the greatest bodybuilder in you know like 50 over 50 years we, we you know 50 60 years or whatever We've seen the greatest bodybuilder do his thing, and we're gonna see one of the biggest comebacks uh, in recent history, and we're gonna see the uh, you know the king regain his crown. 
But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I think this is going to be huge. I think it's going to be memorable when Bill Heath comes back and reclaims it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all much, and I'll check you in the next video.